Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to House Super. Here we are for part number 40. Yes, that's right. We're up to episode number 40 already. Um, for this episode, I'm going to go with a teenager's retreat. So this is meant to be um, like a little granny flat at the back of a house um, for a teenager. So they can come out and do what they want to do and be away from the family and that sort of stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is make it so it's a bit more open plan. Give him a little kitchenette, lounge room, um, bedroom, bathroom, and somewhere for him or her to be a gamer. Um, this house is, as I said, it's going to be a teenager's retreat, but it's going to be like a fortnight inspired um, teenager's retreat because, you know, a lot of teenagers these days love Fortnite. Um, I can honestly say I've never played it, and I never plan on playing it, to be honest. But um, probably is the biggest game in the world right now. It's absolutely crazy how busy, or how big it actually is. So I figured, um, why not do Fortnite-inspired Teenagers Retreat? Nice, quick build, hopefully. And, um... Hopefully it'll impress all those guys that um, love Fortnite. Maybe maybe get them off Fortnite and get them onto House Slipper instead. You know, that'll be ideal. Alright, there we go. So, kitchen. Let's go. Uh, an oven. definitely want an oven but I want to put in have a look at the kitchen first because I want to put in uh, this one why I'm gonna go with a black granite uh, white gray gray let's go light gray sink can be dark um, put that there let's move you out of the way I feel like we put it there. I'm not gonna have enough room for an oven, no. So get rid of you. We definitely need a fridge. So I feel like we're gonna have to move this guy like out of the way for now. We're definitely gonna need a fridge and it's gonna have to go over here because there's not really anywhere else for it. Perfect. Um, I'm also, I'm not going to put in an oven. So, teenagers retreat. Um, what teenagers really going to cook? They're obviously going to want a microwave so they can microwave their, you know, pizzas and <laughs> all that other sort of stuff. But they're really not going to cook. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to put a clock up there so they can keep track of time. Or lose track of time, one or the other. So that'll be their little kitchen area. Um, we'll go with some bar stools, black. Uh, we'll keep it, keep it white, I think. Just a couple of stools there. Um, I feel like I'm gonna go desk. Mm, I haven't really thought about it. I'd like to get a corner desk, but I think... I don't know if we can really go... Maybe this one. Maybe it's, it just looks like it's kind of... A cheap and nasty... Not a cheap and nasty, but a cheap computer desk. Got that. There's a gap there between the desks, which I don't like. Hmm. Don't really like that either. Um, I don't want to do that one, but we might have to. I mean, we could always just go like a basic computer desk. 
there. Um, definitely going to go with like a comfy gaming chair. Go uh, electronics. We're going to go with a more expensive one. There, a monitor. It's a standard monitor. It's a kind of maybe one there. We want to. Get another one in. How about that, we probably bring that over one, but push it back. Can we? Yeah, how's that? Can we put you there, but bring you forward one? There we go. That's perfect. So double screen. Still can't afford a triple screen yet. It's not as lucky as some. Um, here we go. Let's go with... Will that fit down there? No, oh, it will. We have a boom box down there. Gonna put a mountain over there. Maybe put one in that corner as well. One in front of there. Um, where else? I don't know. We really need to put. Oh, Jesus, look at that! Put the TV down into here. Um, cupboards. So we go TV. We'll just go with that one. Um, that'll work. You into there, we'll go with TV. For some reason, the music's completely stopped. The TV there, I want to go with a sofa. We want like a small sofa. What's the price ascending? The cheaper one we've got that beige roses. Let's go beige. You want it to we want them to have a sofa, but we don't really need a massive size. There, still got enough room to get in and out of his gaming setup. It's the main thing. Um, appliances, electronics, even. Um, in the center of the TV. Where's our DVD player? It's a shame that we can't actually put it in there. Yeah, that'll work. It's probably not um, ideal, but another boom box over there. Let's actually move the TV to there. That can go there. Then we can move this. There we go. So like a little TV area. He's got his gaming set up. Got his kitchenette. We're going to have to put in his bathroom, which I did get rid of everything. We probably should have left it, but I just went through and tidied up the whole bloody house and sold everything. There you go. So, bath or shower, I should say, can go there. We'll go with toilet. There. Go with the sink. There. I'll go bathroom. I can go there. Normal toilet. And normal shower. Beautiful. It's going to be like a pretty basic design. It's not going to be anything too over the top. It's just going to be, as I said, like um, a lot of gaming stuff. So probably similar to the, the gamer's house we did before, but um, 
I said, this is like a little teenager's retreat and they love Fortnite. So there's been a lot of Fortnite posters all over the shop. I've downloaded a fair few. I said, I've never played Fortnite in my life and really don't have the urge to play it. I mean, it looks like it could be a lot of fun, but it's not my cup of tea. One thing I don't really like is, you know, you're there to to shoot each other and a battle royale and win, but why are you building big structures like that? It's kind of odd to me. You're meant to be there shooting each other and winning, not building, you know, like massive towers to get away from people. But um, the, some people that I have seen play it are bloody amazing. I don't know how they have reactions that sharp you know, and can do that well that quick with building and shooting and all that sort of stuff it's it's nuts the way some people play uh, we'll go mirror said so very very basic uh, poo paper definitely what we need we'll go floor Tiles. Go from you to there. All right, get rid of you. Get rid of you as well. Let's square that off to there as well. And then the floor, the rest of the floor can stay the same. Like I don't mind that that floor style. All right, so we're going to put in just a halogen somewhere in the middle of the room. I'm going to sell that because it's old. There you go. One light should be more than enough. Um, all tiles. So we're not going to be doing anything fancy at all. Basic and as cheap as possible. I guess I don't know. Maybe the parents just wanted him, wanted him or her out of um, out of the house. Sick of the bloody fortnight going on. They just wanted wanted their own space. So they spent a little bit of extra money building the granny flat and still trying to do it as cheap as possible just to get them out of the house. Not to say they don't love their child. It's just safe to say they sick of hearing the gaming and the swearing and carrying on <laughs> as most teenagers would do while playing online. And I would admit I was one of them back in the day. I used to game and especially Call of Duty. And having, well, Call of Duty and shitty internet. Let's just say it didn't didn't go well together. It was um, extremely frustrating. Oh, there we go. So that's just a very, very basic bathroom. Go okay, with laundry basket. Obviously, mum has to come down to get the laundry basket because as if a teenager is going to actually take it up to the to the house, you know. Um, all right. So there's a lot of Fortnite stuff. God, I hate it when it does that. Um, Alright, let's go. Somewhere about there. Fortnite. Go this one, let's make it a lot smaller. Far out. Uh, about there, we'll go and put in um, a closed blind. There we go. So that's the bathroom done. It's a couple of Fortnite pictures. Uh, doors, we'll go to the white door because they should be cheaper. Um, we probably should have kept those wall tiles and probably the paint as well but anyway let's 
put just a row of tiles along this side of the wall and then the rest can be just paint. Alright, uh, now we can sell them. Paint. I'm going to buy a couple because I'm probably going to need a couple. Oops. Like the whole, all the walls, as I said, are going to be white. As I said, it's like a granny flat that the family built as cheap as possible. It was suitable for, um, obviously, their child to live in. I know back in the day um, when I was younger, my parents did a similar thing to one of like our garage or our shed, I guess. Class of those down the back um, of one of our houses. They turned it into a livable, livable shed, which um, my brother and I stayed in, and it was awesome. We didn't have anything other than just like a big room with. Um, we had a fridge, um, our beds, like our. One of us had a double bed, the other one had like a bunk bed. And um, that was it, like we didn't have anything else. We didn't have a toilet, we didn't have a shower, none of that stuff. So it's just like one big room. Uh, so we had our beds, a fridge, and then um, TVs, Playstations. Um, eventually when my brother moved out and I had the whole place to myself, I had like a table with Playstation on one side and a TV. And the other side was like where my computer was, and it was so cool just being away from, being away from your parents, being down, you know, the back, doing whatever you wanted to do, not having to worry about anybody else. Didn't matter how loud you had your bloody TV or you know, your computer and PlayStation, no one could really hear it. So it was good, good being away, being away from people, not annoying people too. It's always good. So I guess it's probably most teenagers' dreams, I guess. Having like a little granny flat slash house to themselves. There we go. I'm going to leave those hooks there because I reckon that where he hangs his hat, his hats and his hoodies and all that sort of stuff. But get rid of you. Modern light switch. Um, put another one over here. Just because. Um, Alright, so that it's not looking too bad. Let's go. Um, where are we? Curtains and blinds. We're not going to put curtains up. We're just going to put the blinds in. Because as I said, they've done it pretty cheap. These are just cheap, nasty blinds. I'd like to be able to change the colours and stuff of these though. Have like uh, beach and venge and all that sort of stuff, those colours. Just to maybe match the furniture, not just plain white. Even black. Black would be cool, especially for a bedroom. Especially me being um, a shift worker and having to sleep during the day. Having black blinds would be pretty awesome. Alright, let's move you into here. Definitely want to go with a feature wall. So, I think we'll go. God damn. Go royal blue. It's the royal blue feature wall. And the rest can be white. Just to kind of match. I don't know, like, not really match the Fortnite colours, but kind of. Right, we'll just paint the rest of this room white, and then we're going to have to fill it up with stuff. We're going to put in a TV, um, and obviously a lot of storage for clothing and that sort of stuff. I'm not going to put in a single bed. We'll definitely still go with a double bed. We don't want to have a little bed. 
I'll probably stick it over in the corner or something up against the wall so you can only get in from the one side. Which is what I had when I was a teenager. I, I didn't have any girls coming over or anything, it was just me. Alright, so get rid of that. Let's go. Beds. Double. Um, so it's something pretty basic. Maybe that one. Pillows. Red. Oh no. Red. Blue. Let's go red. Bedding. Yellow. Cover. White yellow. Uh, and you can go beach. There we go. Um, cupboard. What like this we got? Yeah, we got beach. Beach. Try and get it in the middle. There's not going to be much room down there, of course, but uh, I think there. He doesn't really care. He's just jumping on the bed anyway. As I said, it's him by himself, so doesn't matter. Like that there. Go with another loudspeaker and DVD player. That'll work. And then we're going to put some, maybe just like some storage cupboards. Don't know if that'll fit. Might be too big. It is. Too big. You're not though, can we get beach? We can. Beautiful. Storage cupboard there. Um, over there we'll go with another basket. Um, yeah, that'll work. I mean, that's pretty basic. We definitely probably still need to go with a um, uh, bedside. That way we can just get a lamp on there. I mean, that'll work. What more could they want? Alright, so ceiling lamps. Oh, you there. Uh, I'm going to have to put the switch over here. Plenty of light, more than enough. Right, we, we had a white door, didn't we? I think. Um, has to go this way. I don't want it to, but it has to. There's a light switch is like behind there. Unless we move it to there, that'll work there as well. Right, so that's the bedroom. So we don't need anything fancy in here. We'll go with our curtains and blinds as well. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Right, so he's got his own TV, DVD player or PlayStation or whatever you want to call that in his bedroom as well. His or her bedroom. And everything else that he needs out there. Um, go back into gallery. We'll definitely go this one. Let's see how big 1.5 is. A smidgen too big. 1.2. Yeah. It's kind of blurry. I guess buy not that big. But that'll, that's fine. Um, I'll grab some of you and just make you tiny. Uh, that one as well. Boom, there we go. 
Definitely a Fortnite fan, you can tell. Alright, outside here. Um, we've still got a fair bit. We didn't use these four, so we can use these ones over here. There, um, yeah. that one there. So I don't, I have no idea who any of these people are. They just come up as Fortnite wallpapers, so <laughs> so I've got no idea about Fortnite, and that's fine. All right, let's go with our uh, doors. Oh, that's right, that way. Locks from the inside. Go outside. And the white front door with a knocker. And there we go. We don't have any lights in here yet. Or, I oh know we do have a light switch there, but we probably need one. Go a double light switch because if he's gaming, he wants to turn the lights on and off. He doesn't have to get up. He can kind of just reach. Oh, one there. Where are we? That line. Let's go there. I think we need to move that one. Back that way a bit more. Let's kind of line it up. Uh, where are we? How's that? That'll work. I think we just need to move these ones forward a little bit. No, not that one. There. No, not there. One spot. There. And there. Beautiful. So I think that will work. Um... It's the best place to get a screenshot. Maybe here, I guess. Let's go about there. Fortnite. There we go. A teenager's retreat. So, walk into the house. We've got a um, little kitchenette with his sitting area there, which is TV, plays games. He's got his gaming set up here for Fortnite play Fortnite either on his PlayStation or Xbox or computer, he or she, and kitchenette into the bathroom. So pretty basic, pretty simple, but so the parents only want it to be nice and cheap, and then into the bedroom, which got his Fortnite posters on the wall again, he or she, and gaming set up in the bedroom, or just TV and DVD player, or whatever. So I think that'll work. I mean, that's pretty cool. Nice quick one, nice short one. And um, it's turned out reasonably well. I was planning on just kind of painting the outside, but there's not really much point. So, all right, let's end it here. We'll um, auction it off. So thirty-nine thousand. We'll see how we go. If um, up above a hundred, I'll be happy. There's no place for his books. Sorry, Chang Choi. Seventy-one. 72, 75, Here comes Veronica, 75 as well, Raphael, 77, oh, that's not much, only 31,000, let's um try and get another 23 out of here, or 19 even, are you kidding me, no I'm not really, oh well, we're going to have to sell it to him, so we spent um, $425 renovation costs, which I don't know what that was actually, is that lighting or is that 
It's not installations. Uh, furniture brought, furniture sold, house sales, 77,000. I made 31,000 profit, which isn't great, but it's not bad either. But um, right there, guys, if you enjoyed it, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, and uh, let me know what you thought of the design and if you've got any other design ideas. Um, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Thank you.